Hey Elton, it's Derek here. This is your Chevrolet Express 1500 or 1 1.5 ton van, fiberglass roof. This is called the Tiara model. 5.7 liter V8. Definitely not very good on gas, but who cares? This thing is awesome. Here's the battery that I replaced for you. The oil was okay, the coolant looks okay. There is a bit of a belt squeal. And then the power steering was a little bit lumpy at first, but it smoothed out quickly thereafter. Let's close this hood. Ah, oh, that didn't do it. Open. Close. Good. This thing looks awesome. Has aftermarket exhaust. Big engine. Has a Nintendo 64 in it somewhere. I couldn't find it. But it has these little outlets outlets for Nintendo 64 controllers 39 174 kilometers let's just pull that out I have never seen a vehicle that comes original with a Nintendo or any sort of video game system interesting to say the least let's have a look at the auction sheet now so it's a 2001 Chevrolet Express Tiara 5.7 liter engine auction four with an interior C leather seats power steering power windows and airbag Original black color. The sales points are aftermarket wheels. They're 20 inch wheels. They are cool, but at the same time, the finish on them has a lot of micro cracks in it. Uh, tires are 255-50R20. And I think these are relatively new. Yeah, 2016, so I guess about midway. They are DOT, so they will pass inspection. HID headlight conversion, third row seat, leather seats third power seat it can actually kind of turn into a bed but it's, it would be a tiny little bed if it were a bed maybe the kids can sleep there wood panels cd changer owner's manual will be sent to buyer imported into japan rear camera keyless entry spare key toll collection box and uh winter tires inside the car so it came with these tires no wheels just tires they have cracking on the sidewalls. They're basically garbage. I'm going to leave them in the van. If they get to you, that's great. Usually they would take out a set of tires. Not usually, always is their rule. It's happened from time to time, but it's not the norm. Okay, so it says seat uh, wrinkled and cracked. Yeah, the passenger seat has some cracks in it. It's really not as bad as it could be. Battery is dead. It had to be replaced. The battery was mega dead. You couldn't even start it. Okay, interior, some parts dirty, AC doesn't work, but it did. Like I was inside the car, it felt like it worked. It wasn't very strong. Maybe it's low on gas? Okay, underside has surface rust and corrosion. I took some underside pictures of it. I'm sure not, I'm not gonna be able to see all the corrosion, but I got a few pictures, like three from the front, two from each side, and three from the, from the back. So a total of eight pictures. Console has some screw holes, wood panels are cracked. They're not really cracked, but mostly sun bleached. Very small scratches, small dents. Paint peeling here, AY2 here, otherwise the body is good. And uh, oh, side decals are peeling pretty badly. Like they, here you can actually see. They go all the way around. Anyway. Okay, this thing is massive. It barely fits into our lot. We have our lot with one, two, three, four, five rows, right? Each row is Japanese size. It is not American size. This thing is wide. It doesn't give you very much room to open the doors on each side. American style parking spots are so much bigger than Japanese style parking spots. And good luck owning something like this here in Japan. It is giant. How big is this compared to a Hummer? I don't know. This feels bigger than an H2, which we've bought a few of. It says Diamond Executive on the side. And then it says Tierra on the top. And it has a reverse camera there. It is an older reverse camera. And I think it's possibly aftermarket. But I don't know. Usually the... Uh, like uh, this, this is 2001. Most 2001 vehicles didn't come with rear cameras. And any of the ones that did. They were usually a black and white screen with like a CRT. Sorry, it's so big, I probably won't be able to get it all in frame here. Okay, the side doors open outwards. So easy to get into the back. 
even for large people. Okay. Okay, so it's tall enough inside that you can stand up in it fairly easily. Um, not fully though. I'm 5'10". I can stand up almost all the way in the back. It's very easy compared to most other vehicles, but it's not a full stand up for me. Okay, we got slightly yellowed lights here. And here, the peeling on the front bumper is isolated to just this area here so it's not that bad we have yellowed lights down there okay going down the sides they're all good besides the logos here the logo is a little bit rough basically all the way down and then up there as well okay the windows are mostly good they have slide window in the bottom section and then fixed window in the upper section. What's this? Is that a light? That's cool. Okay, the gaskets and the windows are a little bit shrunken. Okay, back bumper, the Y2 is here. And I got pictures of this as well. I showed it in the side panel check. So I'm not gonna spend too much time showing you now. Check out the pictures or the side panel check for details used to have an illuminated plate, which is really cool. You can have the numbers light up. Here in Japan, you pay extra for it. Very cool. That's your uh, rear fog light or reverse light. Open this up. And we have pouches. I don't know why you want pouches in the back there, but you have them. You also have pull-down style. Uh, window cover. Oh, yeah, the wood in the back actually lots of wood in the back sections is oh, cracked I was thinking about the front. Ow. But yeah, this kind of crack In the finish Has a box of spare parts has this sleeping platform type thing with controls here Which you in my experience usually you can press these controls with it um, with the vehicle completely off, but maybe not this one Accent lighting there and up there, place for cup holders, seats in the back, very comfortable seats, and a Nintendo 64. With only two controller ports though, which is a bit of a shame because the Nintendo 64 was a four player system. That was one of the big things about it. But imagine playing in these two seats with a TV up there, playing your Golden Eye or your Mario Kart. Uh, also comes with a vacuum. Don't know if the battery is still good for that, but uh, you can use that to vacuum, hopefully. And speakers. Yeah, cigarette lighter adapter there. Tiara embroidered section. Very luxurious having the embroidery there. Cool. <laughs> yeah, still feels <laughs> like an American vehicle. Uh, should we go to the middle section? I guess we will. Uh, highly tinted windows make it a little bit dark inside. You can further darken it if you want. They have those uh, pull-down blinds here as well and here. And I believe you would on those two windows as well over there. Seats here are very cushy and comfortable. It says uh, Bornman products since 1946. Leather in good condition, feel great. Headrests that say TR International Motor Co Motor Coach. I don't know why Motor Coach is so hard to say. Armrests, yes. Who doesn't want armrests? The answer is nobody. Okay, the seats there are very far apart from one another, which is comical to me. A nice large area for your legs here you can stretch them out and play your super nintendo no your nintendo 64. uh you have tv on and off control there as well as cd player here you have a cup holder carpets are a little bit bunchy place for things ashtray rear stereo tv volume headphone volume 
Okay, place my things, including a cup. Back here. Here it is, my favorite thing about your van. Nintendo 64 with an R controller port. Now you can't see it very well, but yeah, the controller sticks right in there. Does the Nintendo 64 use the same controllers as the GameCube? The same ports? I don't know. Maybe. This one here is a cold box. It has like insulation. We got another one on the other side here. Your drinks and stuff, another controller port, seat controls, stereo controls and headphone jack, speaker there, your own lamp up here. Lots of cabinets. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven AC vents up here. Lots of little cracks in the wood up there. Okay. And this seat has the cup holders in there. Oh, wow, so comfortable. And then you can have a center seat here if you want. Also comfortable. And these can tilt back too. So they can be resting, um, more reclining type function. That's a little bit loose. Maybe because there's a Nintendo 64 underneath it. Yeah, I don't know how that needs to go somewhere, right? You wouldn't have that unless you plugged in a Nintendo 64 somewhere. It has to be integrated hardwiring. Nintendo 64 didn't have an option to have the like uh, controller port extensions or anything like that. Okay, very American style up here. I don't know, really know what to say. Um, it's just. Everything is so different. Large seats. Cushy. Here's the cracks in it. As you can see, it's not that bad. So there's some discoloration on the tops of all the wood. In some UV damage to the dashboard here. That's why it has a cover on it. Okay, coins, drinks, ashtray. Things, very cheap feeling plastic, like it's made out of milk jugs. Speaking of milk jugs, did you know you can only get one liter milk in Japan, maximum size? We buy milk by like the six or eight carton every time that we go shopping. Good condition steering wheel. I don't know what this is. Dim, AUD, CTY, TV. Microphone up here, nice little slot. Some light controls that I couldn't figure out how to use. AC felt like it worked for me. Hmm. Oh, here's the screw holes in the dashboard. Or in the console, they said. Only those two. Okay, instead of getting out the driver's side door, I just get out the side, because I can. And uh, yeah, left door first, right door. Okay, cool van. I'll be glad to get this out of the lot. I actually crashed a car the other day, the second time this year. Um, and it's because we have a tight lot. Very sad about that. And it was this one here. Uh oh, Derek. Bad boy. Because you have to go, put it up between these. And you're really close to there, and this part's higher. And so the vehicle just tilted over as I came up and then hit the back corner of another car. Anyways, I'm not going to do that with your van. I haven't, I've done damage to like a total of five vehicles of the several thousand that we've uh, sold. So it's not like I'm going to do it to yours, even though it is huge and hard to park. There it is. If you need anything, please let me know. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much and have a nice day.